Uh, you know, the good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. You see, that's the, <laughs> the thing. That's very good. Use two words. Christopher Mountain. What's going on? Kind of caught me uh, just jamming out a little bit here. Now, let's face the facts. You're looking for something, and I think that we deliver what you're looking for. We all got brains. We all want to use our brains. Our brains are kicking out thoughts all the time. Let's face it, some of our thoughts tell us in no uncertain terms when somebody is uh, disagreeing with us that we should challenge that. They are wrong and we need to put it in their face. We're not going to rehash what we talked about on the panel last week. We debated global warming. Two of the people did not believe in it. Oh, no, one person didn't believe in it. Two of them didn't believe in evolution. Uh, you know, the good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. You see, that's the... <laughs> I'm just saying. That's very good. That's not what science is. Mm -hmm. Science isn't in the business of proving. Could it be wrong? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a huge dose of salt that is taken with um, everything that is, you know, that, uh, all knowledge is provisional in science. Um, the way that the world, the universe, and our planet were envisioned in 1900 is completely different than the way that our planet, the universe, and the world was envisioned in 2000, in just 100 years. Many, many crazy things occurred between 1900 and 2000 that reshaped how we see things. In 1900, atoms weren't accepted. They thought that there was an ether uh, through which light traveled. You know, like, now, and, and then Einstein came, and then quantum mechanics came, and all of a sudden our understanding of how things work is just like that much more accurate and kind of crazy to a person from the 1900s if you were to tell them the science that is accepted in the year 2000. Point being, in the year 2100, who knows? They might look at the year 2000 and be like, those fuzzles, they didn't figure out this, which, which was a game changer. And, so, and, and I think that's the exciting part of science. We're not going to rehash what we talked about on the panel last week. We debated global warming. Two of the people did not believe in it. Oh, no, one person didn't believe in it. Two of them didn't believe in evolution. Uh, you know, the good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. You see, that's the... <laughs> I'm just saying. That's very good. What kind of a show are you guys putting on here today? I don't know who went to this place. William Howard Taft, William Jennings Bride, William Tell, whoever. Their spirit is dead, if they ever had one. It's gone. You're building a rat ship here. A vessel for seagoing snitches. And if you think you're preparing these minnows for manhood, you better think again. Because I say you are killing the very spirit this institution proclaims it instills. What a sham.